Hello everybody, it's Jeffrey Wolf Studios here again, and my name is Alcaris, and we're playing Undertale. This is episode 3. And to start it off, we are in the normal mode game, and we are playing for the normal story mode thing. I'm repeating myself again. Too bad. Ah! Um. Uh, my last recording wasn't very good. The audio, the audio, ugh, English. The audio was pretty, uh, shit. And sounds like it's fucking, I don't know. It sounds like it's, um, ugh, too loud. Telegram again. Ugh. I don't have the best audio recording setup at the moment. As, um,. I'm using my phone to record the audio directly into the computer, and I'm pretty much just using my phone as the as an external microphone. Since I don't since I don't have an actual proper microphone set up to actually use, it's um makes it a little bit difficult to get good decent quality. And I can't really use the microphone on the laptop because that'll pick up the fan noise and all that crappy stuff. And in the background I've got like a fan, external fan which I added to the laptop recently so that makes it, that'll make it even more noisy, which I don't want either. So, without further ado, let's just jump straight into this game and play. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. <laughs> Why don't you make me introduce myself? It's rude to act like you don't know who I am. Someone ought to teach you with the proper manner. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? This is your soul. A very cu cum culmination. Ah, can't English. Culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but you can grow strong if you gain lots of LV. What's LV stand for? Why love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Don't trust the flower. <laughs> Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around and get as many as you can. Let's just dodge it. <laughs> hey buddy, you missed them. Let's try again, okay? And again. Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets. Okay. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up any opportunity like this? Okay. Die. I don't like that flower. Flowey, you're so mean. Oh, and here we go again. What a terrible creature, torturing such a pure, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Torel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has come down. You were the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. I'll try to speed speed run through this all this all blech. I'll try to speed run as much as I can through to where we were at before in the hard mode so we don't have to sit through all this stuff too much. The same thing all over again. Okay, anyway. <coughs> Shadow of the runes loom above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Okay. Level one. New name. Okay. There we go. Welcome to your new home, Miss One. Allow me to educate you on the operation of the runes. The runes are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move forward from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the site. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Don't worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. 
what? Hmm. Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let's move to the next room. As a living, as a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you're in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time, and I will resolve. Come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. You encounter the dummy. Let's talk. You talk to the dummy. Doesn't seem much for a conversation. Ariel seems to be happy with you. You won. You earned zero XP and zero gold. Ah, very good. You are very good. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Okay, fine. Destroy it. Drug it. You won. You earned 10 XP and 20 gold. Your love increased. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. This is the puzzle, but... Here. Take my hand for a moment. I still love this. Just the way she like takes your hand and guides you through this puzzle. I do kind of wish that you could just solve it on your own, but she's kind of persistent in helping you get the puzzles. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for you now. You have done excellently well thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of this room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Uh, come back! Come back! And we do it. Reach the end. Uh. But yeah, the normal story mode should be a lot easier than what we did in hard mode. So we should not fight monsters so much. There's a thing, if you wait here long enough, she starts saying stuff. I kind of want to wait a little bit to see what she says, but don't want to wait too long. Wait a moment or two. Few more moments, I think. So how are you doing? <laughs> I think yeah. not very good for striking up conversations. I hate I really do hate the sound of my own voice. And I know I sound like bored when I'm like talking and stuff, but I do really enjoy it. I do like to talk. Stuff, but I just hate sounding with the way I sound and stuff like that. Just control has just disconnected itself for no reason. I don't know why I keep doing that. Okay, yeah, we'll just wait long enough. Let's just go. Greetings, my child. Don't worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for the six hour exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I'll give you a cell phone. If you have need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? We could wait, but I have no idea how long you have to actually wait. I think we'll just proceed. Hello, this is Torel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try solving by yourself. Be good, alright? Let's uh, save. Okay, level 2. Doesn't. It doesn't. Ah, shit, can't talk. Doesn't matter on the, the normal playthrough for this one. 
because uh, this is just the normal ending. Because you have to play through a second time to get for either a good ending or a bad ending. Uh, I wouldn't really call it bad ending. I think I'm not too. I'm not really too sure because I haven't really played on the Digi Genocide run. I've only played on the passive just run once before, and I really, really do not want to do the Genocide run. I only. I really should prefer to just do the, the pacifist run. So, take a piece of candy. Yeah. Take another one? Yeah, we'll take another one. I think. One more? Okay, take another one. You feel like the scum of the earth. Take one? Okay. You took too much too fast, the candy spills onto the floor. Look what you've done! Let's save once again. <laughs> Monster! Frog it caught close. So you can you can choose to fight or not to fight. And it's really up to you how you play this game. But in this normal run, you can choose to just fight if you want to or not. But for the pacifist run, you have to not fight anybody at all, all the way through, except for the one fight later on, which I'll which you'll see later. I'd rather not explain it all too much right now. I'll probably spoil it too much. Hello, this is Terrell. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Wait, do you not tell me? Is it cinnamon? <laughs> I had a feeling. When humans fall down here, strangely, I... I often feel like I already know them. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your selection. Hello, this is Terrell. You do not dislike Butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient. Allergies, do you? Huh? Why am I asking? No reason. No reason at all. Here my god. Fruit. Go away before I destroy you. Pair of frogets. Let's attack. I like the music of the battle. It's quite um. I don't know. I don't. I really don't like to describe stuff properly. <laughs> I just like to say things, ramble on, whatever. Well there, partner. Who said you could push me around, hmm? So you are asking me to move over? Okay. Just for you, pumpkin. Come. Um, you want me to move some more? Alrighty then. How's this? Hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay then. I think I got it. Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You are giving me a real workout. with determination. And here we go, Naps the Bloke once again. Z. Keep seeing Z out loudly. Move it to force? Yes. Let's cheer him up. Hey hey! Keep cheering him up. <laughs> really not really up to it right now. Sorry. He wants to show you something. Let me try. 
I call it the upper look. Do you like it? Chirma. Oh gee. Look. Usually I come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Yes, the rambles. Like me. Spiders. Not very many people like spiders. Okay, so we got ourselves a Yona and a Judd. Let's go. Ribbity, Gibbity, F4, full screen, and sparing. That's very helpful. Yes. Okay. Hello? I just realized that it's been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying around them, here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Some... Someday you might need to see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pocket for that. I do. Let's go down here first. Get yourself a ribbon, yet again. And then we go here. Go again. Monsters. Badoom. Knock you out. In unison now. Badoom. Blur the blur. Yeah. Easy actually. This one. Slime sounds. <laughs> what does slime sounds sound like? I have no idea what slime would sound like. Probably liquidy sort of sound. They'll drop me down. Talk to Naps the blue kid again. Go on without me. Wait, ghost could fly. Can I? Oh well. Bye bye. So yeah, I'll try to get through this very quickly if I can. Hit the switches, and I'll hold the way through. Making sound. I hope my voiceover commentary isn't uh, as bad as I think it is, or sounds like. I already know how bad it sounds, but just where it was better. I wish I had proper recording setup so I can actually have better clear audio. And so it doesn't sound so fucking shit. Which it currently does, probably, as you're listening to the right now. The sound of my voice. Do you hear it? It sounds so shit. Anyway. <coughs> Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Yeah. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. What did that say? Seeing such a cute tidy house in the ruins gives you gives you determination. Hey, I've already done that. And I'm feeling incredibly hungry. Maybe I should get something to eat. Uh, 6 6 p.m. Oh goodness. Really? No, wait. The clock's all screwed up. 5.56 a.m. What the fuck? Windows is screwing up the time clock yet again. Anyway, you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought you might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. 
shoot. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Let's uh, jump into the bed. <coughs> and pop out the bed. And what do we get? You're carrying too much. Yet again. <laughs> Monster cat. Let's eat that. You found a slice of Blech. English. English. Remember? <laughs> you found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. I don't think we need to see all this stuff again, but you know. It's Terrell's diary. Read the circle passage. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling lonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of similar caliber. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open in the middle. Typha. A group of wetland flower plants flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. More, known more commonly as water sausages. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Terrell's sock drawer. I like socks. Oh, it's a water sausage. I hope I am improving as my voiceover commentary as I go. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier, feel full. Fearful of further human attacks, we retreated far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. The fire isn't burning hot, it's pleasantly warm, you could put your hand inside. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad to have someone here. There are so many books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, that business isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? I want to go home. What? This, this is your home now. Um. Would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 22 Uses for Snail. How about it? How to exit the room. Wanna push this along a little bit, a little bit more. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. How to exit the room. I have something, I have to do something. Stay here. We're gonna quickly save. And proceed. And I want to try and get to the end of this, and then we'll end the episode there after that. Mm. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Meh. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is for your final warning. You want to leave so badly. Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. I could show you what happens if you defeat Karel, but I find it quite sad. I could probably show you now what happened, but then I'm just gonna have to restart because I really don't want to defeat her. I just rather want to show what happens when you do defeat her and stuff like that. But... Okay, I'll do this very quickly. I'm 
could you start? Damn it. 310. Er, you are stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Asgore. Do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you, my child? I really hate this. I really hate that. It really makes me sad when I do that. It made, re made me really, really sad when I first did this. I first played this. I can't. I really just can't. So, starting up again. Just a moment. Here we go. <coughs> There we go. Continue. So, this time, I'm not going to defeat her. I'm going to spare her. I only just want to show you what happens when you do defeat her. And I'll skip you through this. This, this game really makes you feel a lot of things that you wouldn't really normally feel about a game, but it is what it is. Just keep spraying her over and over again. Just like we did in hard mode. Attack or run away. Really love the battle. I've probably said this already before, and I'm gonna repeat myself again, but I love it. I love it. Fight me or leave. Stop it. Stop with things like that. Yeah. I feel really bad. Go away! And this time she just does that. <sighs> I know you want to go home, but... But please go upstairs now! I promise I'll take good care of you here. I know we do not have much. We can have a good life here. Sorry if I'm rushing through this. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. 
<laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. No. Goodbye, my child. Really sad moment. And even if you do go back to try and find her again and talk to her, there's nowhere to be found. And that was really when I first played it, it's just that really made me sad so much. It's just I didn't like it. I didn't like the fact that you can't find her and talk to her again and whatnot. But even in a room, it won't be in there. Locked. Obviously, there's nowhere to be found, not even in the ruin. Okay, I think we should just proceed to the end and then we'll just end the video there. Yep. Okay. <coughs> I'm sorry if I take too long on certain parts. It is quite a long, semi-long game. Up we go. Just keep going. It's quite a long corridor. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> but don't act so cocky. I know what you did. You murdered her. And then you went back because you regretted it. Truthfully, yes. <laughs> you naive idiot. Do you think you are the only one with that power? The power to reshape the world, purely by your own determination. The ability to play God. The ability to save. I thought I was the only one with that power, but I can't save anymore. Apparently your desires for this world overrides mine. Well, well. Enjoy that power while you can. I'll be watching. This flower is evil. <laughs> and so we go. And... Undertale! By Toby Fox. And he made such a great game. If I do say so myself. And so, I shall end the episode right here. For next time, we shall continue from this point and advance with the story. We're in a forest, and yes, I kind of repeat myself over and over again, but I try not to do that in the future, if possible. So, and thank you so much for watching if you managed to watch it for this long if you liked it give me a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you can and if you do really like it share it with others so they can watch this too and perhaps maybe leave some comments and stuff where i can improve with my commentary i'm not so good with it and stuff I will gradually improve over time as I keep doing it and such, 
and I really don't know where to go from here because I'm just rambling on.